Alright guys, just wanted to do a quick update here on my rat setup. Um, you can see I've got uh, a couple of respirators here on the door. Um, anytime I come in this room to do any sort of cleaning, I definitely have to, to wear that, otherwise I'll be sneezing and rubbing my face all day. It's, it's pretty uncomfortable, but you know, it's something I gotta deal with to uh, keep the collection fed. But, uh, but yeah, I've got five racks along the wall here. Got uh, the automatic watering systems in place, of course. Makes things really easy. I do 1.3 in these tubs. <laughs> you can see there's uh, some weanlings there that just uh, aren't ready to come away from their mother just yet. Um, well, there's a little bit of a younger litter with some, some older ones mixed in. But yeah, like I said, I do 1.3. That's so that's for those of you that don't know, that's one male to three females. Um, they eat Missouri. I I've I've used a lot of foods in the last couple years, and um, the Missouri really is I find is the best. It gives you know it gives, gives you the highest yield of babies, uh, the healthiest animals, the longest lived animals, and of course that translates to the health of your snakes. Got some. Uh, some little guys here that are growing up to be mediums. Um, I do. I have my CO2 tank there in the corner. Um, it's pretty easy to euthanize with that. Uh, I got my got my pine there, and of course some some ventilation here. That that sucks that all the air right out the window and up a little chimney. So hopefully that doesn't bother the neighbors too much. But yeah, this is. Uh, this setup's been running this way for, for a, a little while now for me, and it, it pretty much runs itself until it's time to clean, of course, and it gets gets pretty messy. I've got uh, got a trash can for pine and and for, for waste there. Um, yeah, that's... Uh, like I said, I, I've got a little bit of room to, to expand here. This rack here is... Um, that's empty, and I've got a couple bins on the bottom there that... Uh, that I can expand to. I'm definitely going to need to go full bore um, come hatchling season. Uh, there's going to be lots of babies to feed and I, I probably won't even be able to turn out enough rats but at, at, at this time especially with um, with a lot of the older ball pythons being off feed um, I'm able to sell a little bit right now and you know that helps pay for the rat food so it's all good. But yeah if, if, uh, if you've got if you guys have any questions or or comments about about anything regarding the rat breeding or or getting this all set up uh, definitely comment down below all right thanks for watching guys